Hey guys, it's Ruffles Kerman, and today we have a situation. So, Abwell Kerman is a very lucky Kerbal. He got sent on a mission to Drace. He was the chosen one. He got to fly in a very large rocket, and this is basically his return vessel. This rocket that he flew in was pretty great. When it landed on Drace, it had 6,800 meters per second left. That's pretty good, but it came with some disadvantages. The first disadvantage was it might have been an uncomfortable ride. Poor guy. But the second disadvantage is actually worse. The second disadvantage is he has no heat shield. He cannot get back to Kerbin. He is stuck in space until we rescue him. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to practice orbital docking and rescue this poor Kerbal. So let's go build this spaceship. The spaceship is going to be pretty simple. All we need is a junior docking port, some RCS, parachutes to get down, a heat shield so we don't make the mistake of Obwell, Kerman's rocket, and a stage to get into orbit. So we're going to have a little poodle engine here and then some RCS on this stage. And then the stage below this one is just going to be the big stage for orbit. We're just going to use a um, twin bore engine because twin bore engines are pretty great. And now, before we launch, we need to go through the steps. Step one, set your objective as the target. So our objective is Abwell Kerman, and then we're going to set him as the target. Step two, time warp until he's over that peninsula. He needs to be a little bit behind the Kerbal Space Center before we launch, which is step three, launch your rocket. So I need to admit something. I've never actually done Kerbin orbital docking before, so this is going to be a learning experience for everyone including myself. Anyway, let's do this. So step four is get your apoapsis up to the orbit of the target ships. Once our apoapsis is at that target orbit, we will stop burning right there. Now before we go on to the next step, we need to get into orbit. So just make a maneuver node and get your orbit pretty close. Also, while I'm making this maneuver node, I am trying to get a very nice position, as you see right there with the little purple encounter target markers. What do you call them? I don't know. But we're going to make this burn and then wait until we're close. I didn't wait until I was close, which I figured out was a bad idea. It um, wastes a little bit of meters per second, not too much, but it is much more efficient to burn when you're close to one of those maneuvers. Right here, I got close to that first encounter, so I'm going to burn a retrograde to my target. That's step five, burn retrograde. Once you've killed off all your velocity relative to your target, we need to point towards the target and burn towards our target. That is step six, burn towards your target. This will give us a pretty good encounter later on, but we do have to do this multiple times first. So basically, again, burn retrograde relative to your target and then burn towards it. Again, this will be more efficient if you are closer to an encounter you have with the target ship. But if you do this enough, and as you see, I'm getting right to this encounter before I start burning retrograde and towards a target. But if you do this enough, then you will have a pretty good encounter. You see that purple encounter right there is actually a very good encounter. So once you get near your target, that leads us to the next step. Step seven is get close to your target and then burn retrograde until you are pretty much hovering close to it. That was a little bit of a mistake on my part. But if you keep repeating this, point to your target and burn, and then point retrograde to your target and stop um, don't hop too much like this I mean I guess it's not a big deal but once you've done once you've gotten close enough now you need to align your little rockets that's step eight align to the correct docking ports and it might be a bit of a trouble at first but you'll get it in the end this is why I put on lots of RCS I've never done this in Kerbin orbit before so this is my first time but in the end we did dock and now we're gonna quick save to make sure nothing else went wrong but yes, here is Awell Kerman's little rocket on to his return craft. So now we're going to get our science and put it in that crew capsule. Now once we have that, we can basically burn retrograde and enter back into Kerman's atmosphere. Awell will be super happy that this is actually happening. His, his uh, trip was like three and a half years poor guy all by himself with that rocket he didn't even have a command capsule but it is all in the name of science and Abwell is a very devout scientific Kerbal so let's just get rid of his craft and enter Kerbin's atmosphere you might have realized I added some science containers on the part we just staged well 
I was gonna use them and then I realized we couldn't use them because they're on the part I staged so I just stuck it all in the crew capsule but we have done it we have successfully done an orbital docking maneuver and recovered Awell Kerman from his journey thanks for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed it and maybe learned something about orbital docking please like and subscribe if you aren't already and have a great rest of your day